Hi scholars, so today we're completing module one, lesson 20. So let's read our learning intention. Thoughtful mathematicians solve two-step word problems involving multiplication and division. So let's look at our vocabulary. So just to refresh, remember since we're looking at division and multiplication, I wanted to go over the related words for those operations. So to divide simply means to separate into equal groups and find the number in each group or the number of groups, depending on what information you're given. The dividend is the number you're dividing. The divisor is the number you divide by. And the quotient is your answer once you divide. The factors are the numbers that you multiply to get an answer. And that answer in multiplication is called the product. So I have my word problem here, and I'm going to model one, and then you'll do one on your own. Ted buys three books and a magazine at the, at the bookstore. So he buys three books and a magazine, so it's four items. Each book costs $8. A magazine costs $4. So this tape diagram has already been partially filled in. For me, it shows the magazine. One is $4. And it shows me three books. I want to find the total, and then I want to find the total cost of the magazine and the books combined. So that's why it's a two-step problem. I need to find the cost of the books, and then add that to the cost of the magazine to find the total cost. Because my questions are, what is the total cost of the books, and then how much does Ted spend all together? So I already know that each book costs eight dollars. So I'm going to fill this in with eight, eight, and eight. And if I skip count by eight, eight plus eight is sixteen, and then sixteen plus another eight would give me twenty-four. So we can fill that in here. So I know the books alone cost twenty-four dollars. So I can write that. The total cost of Books is $24. So now $24 plus the $4 for that magazine would give me $28. So how much does Ted spend altogether? Ted spends $28. So again, these are two-step problems, so there's always going to be more than one step you need to complete. In this case, I had to find the cost of the books first, then add that to the cost of the magazine, which was already given, to find the total cost. And there were two questions. There may not always be two questions, so keep that in mind, especially when there's one question, because it may seem like, oh, you just have to find one answer. So there's only one thing I have to do, but you, there will be two steps for all the problems we do. So go ahead and try this one. We'll read it together. 18 cups are equally packed into six boxes. Two boxes of cups break. How many cups are unbroken? So I don't want to know the total number of cups. I want to know the cups that are not broken after those two boxes of cups break. It's very important to remember. So I've already drawn a tape diagram for you. I see six boxes, and I want to figure out how much cups are in one box in order to figure out how many unbroken cups there are, because I don't know how many cups are in each box right now, and that'll help me figure out how many cups are left over after two boxes break. So go ahead and try this one. Press pause now, solve independently, and then press play when you're ready to check your work. Okay, so I have 18 cups, and I'm placing them into six boxes. So I can go ahead and do one cup at a time into all six boxes until I get to 18. Sorry, so I have 12 already. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, one row. Then the second row, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, then 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I can stop there. So I see there are three cups in each box. But it said that two of those cups boxes broke. So I can't count these six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So how much are left? How many cups are still usable or not broken? Well, there's three, six, nine, twelve. Some answers there are twelve unbroken cups. So to recap, first we had to find out how many cups go in each box. Then take away those two boxes that broke because I can't use those cups anymore. So I was left with 12 unbroken cups. Thanks again for watching. And as always, you can reach out to me on Schoology if you have any questions or on Google Hangouts. Remember, today's Word Problems will always have two steps. So make sure you've done two steps to get to your answer or you may have missed something and you might possibly have an incorrect answer.